In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. In our spiritual life, we have basically three enemies that we have to encounter and conquer so that we can make it safely home to heaven. They are the devil, the flesh, and the world. Here's a statue of St. Michael the Archangel, which you can see him. He's stepping on the devil. These are three ways that the devil can attack us. When we're in the state of desolation, when, which means we feel sad, discouraged, a lack of faith, a lack of hope, a lack of charity. We feel that people don't understand us. We feel, we just feel bad. We all go through that. That's one of the principal times in which the devil will attack us. St. Ignatius would say in the rules, when in the state of desolation, we have, to, we have to be more vigilant. We have to pray all the more. We have to examine our conscience to see why we're in that state of desolation. We have to apply ourselves to some type of, some type of penance. Because Jesus said that some devils are kicked out, are expelled only by prayer and by penance. Another opening of the devil, and St. John Bosco mentions this, is, is by means of a story in the diary of St. Faustina. St. Faustina in the convent saw a devil that was running back and forth in one of the corridors, and Jesus wanted her to stop the devil and ask the devil what was the best way, the primary way that he was able to get into the, into the, hearts of individuals, specifically those nuns, but this can be applied to us. So St. Faustina stopped the devil and asked him, under obedience, I, I want to ask you, what is the way in which you have best entrance? And he said this, laziness. But in this convent, I cannot find a nun that is lazy. Probably all of you have heard that that proverb, that sloth or laziness is the workshop of the devil. And finally, in this presentation, um, when we're tempted by the devil, we should turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Turn to Mary and pray the Hail Mary. Because the Bible says that the woman will crush the head of the devil. Here we see the devil being crushed by St. Michael the Archangel. But the Blessed Virgin Mary is even more powerful than St. Michael and all the angels and saints together. So we are in spiritual warfare. Our three enemies are the devil, the flesh, and the world. But we're on God's side. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Amen.